Hey, welcome back for another adventure of Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster with Locke and Terra and Edgar and Sabin. For now, at least. We're, we're back on the uh, trip to get us uh, find the Returners so we can uh, let them know that magic is back in the world and we have a magic asset in Terra. Now I gotta figure out where this place is. And it looks like we're being funneled up here, at least according to the map. So uh, just this is the way we're gonna go. See, there's another cave there. I'm, well, we'll, we'll fight first. Wow, split the party. Okay. Um, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, we don't even have to try. Because Edgar's a beast. I just want to check up here, see if there wasn't something, anything. Okay. So there is just this one way to go right here through this little cave over here. Funnily, I love. <laughs> Oddly enough, we get attacked at the same area, you know? Oh, that's weird. That's weird to me. You know, when we, when we went up, got attacked at almost the same exact pixel as we do when we're coming down. Like, is that a trigger, or is it just RNG is weird like that? The Returner's Hideout. Ooh, so it looks like we made it. But there's nobody out here guarding, huh? Ooh, who's this guy? King Edgar, this way, please. Oh, all right. Well, they know the king. And it's auto. We're, we're automatically following this guy. I'd like to take a look around. You know, this kind of reminds me of the pirate's base from um, early in the last one. All right. I'm going to talk to these guys and explore a little bit. The layout definitely reminds me of it. Emperor wouldn't think of looking for a headquarters here. Much like the uh, rebels in Star Trek, Star Wars. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's, I can't believe those are so expensive though. Let's go with uh, six of those, I guess. Cannot believe those are so expensive. My goodness. High potions, uh, let me do that. Sleeping bags are so crazy expensive. You know, like the Rebel base on Hoth in uh, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, you know? The Empire would never think to look for us here. I mean, they do. Have you spoken to Bannon? No. Alright, fine, we'll go over there anyway and talk to him now, I guess. Ruin my fun. Let's go see. Right, that's a safe spot up there. Oh, there you are, Bannon. High potion. Alright, this has got to be Bannon, right? Yes, it is. Bannon, we brought her with us. So this is the girl. The one to whom the Esper responded. Esper? Seems the Emperor had complete control over her. Yes, yes. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. All right. For, techno for technology, technologically advanced society, carrier pigeons is the way to go. I also heard that she wiped out 50 Imperial soldiers in mere minutes. No, that's not... Terra. Yeah. For heaven's sake, Bannon, the girl doesn't remember anything. I mean, the truth won't change it. That's right, she's gonna find out anyway. Might as well tell her now what they made her do. Perhaps you've heard this story before? Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box they were told never to open. Someone went and opened it anyway, and so unleashed all the evils we know today. He, pride, envy, greed, wrath, gluttony. Yeah. The only thing that remained in the box was a single ray of light. Hope. Your power is a gift, not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. So see, Batman was just trying to inspire her, but tell her, hey, look, this is what they made you do. This is what you can do. You're the world's last ray of light. Our final hope. Yeah, see? Bannon! What do you want him to do? I've grown weary with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. Empire took someone important for me. I've hated it ever since. If no one stands up to the Empire, more people will be left like me. That's why I joined the Returners. If there's no one important in my life, I have no family, no friends. 
That's not true. Even if it was, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. Those people could be counting on you. Snap out of it, girl. Phoenix down, okay. Uh, he's just saying the same thing. She meant to go off exploring on her own, just to kind of hear what's up, what's going on. We're a small organization, but we've been gaining more and more sympathizers around the world. Yeah, because the Emperor keeps trying to take over. Freedom is almost within our grasp. Hmm. I wonder if, he, if these guys over here may say something different to her, or are they even... Yeah, there's uh, Thaven. I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He always thought of my needs before his own, ever since we were little. I think you should trust him, too. But don't tell him I said that. He turned red as a tomato. The Empire is snuffing out returners whenever it finds them. We must find a way to strike back before it's too late. Yes, see, just like Star Wars. Tina Green Cherry. And this is uh, King Edward here. Not easy asking so much of you. Edgar, not Edward. Now, if we force our ideas on you, we're no different from the Empire. So, we want you to decide for yourself. Okay, Edgar. Well, that's, that's kind of you. Oh, can't go in there. Alright, so, uh, we, we don't need the flashy thing up there. Oh, man, sneezed there. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. <coughs> and up the only path that, uh, was left available to us. Air knife. Ooh. Phoenix down. Please have the courage to join us in our battle. Knight's coat. Ether. Antidote. Hmm. <coughs> Goodness. I swear where do we go then? Ah. Huh. What do we got here? Knight's Code is a uh, <coughs> a book detailing Knight's Hood's moral code. Plus it's a bearer to critically cover critically wounded allies. <coughs> well, that's good, right? Huh. Where did where did, where did he go? No, I mean there's like oh, can I go down here? What are we waiting for then? This is just the end, right? Sure, let's rest a while, I guess. I mean, aren't we just resting, though? I, 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 I don't know. <clears throat> Gotta figure our way out of here, though. All right, so we're well rested. What puts is the, uh... I wonder if he's back up here now. Well, one way to find out. No, it's, he's not over here. Huh. Heck, where, where can we go? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Do we go back to her room then? Because there's really nothing to do. Um, I'm gonna try is maybe go back to her room. That's not even doing anything. <laughs> hmm. So where are we supposed to go? Bannon, he went just outside a moment ago. Well, can we go outside? Thank you. All right. We have to do something to trigger that, because he wasn't letting us go out at first. You made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Really? You will? She had to talk to all of her friends? But I'm scared. Well, yes. The uncertainty you're feeling is only natural. Exactly. Tara, I want you to have this. What is it? I'm trying to help keep you safe. Take it. Gauntlets. Okay. I have a plan. Would you please gather everyone together? Sure. I mean... Well, okay, she's good at that. See, she's uh, very charismatic. She just stepped inside and said, Alright, everybody come with me, and they all followed her. So she didn't have to hardly work it off. Well then. We all know that the Castalian Empire is using its magic power to wage war. The question is, where'd they get that power? 
and Locke dig around for information. Seems the Empire has been gathering scholars from around the world to study espers. Okay. Narsh's esper was the reason for the Imperial assault there. Are you saying there's some kind of connection between espers and Magitech? Well, yes. Esper's and Magitech. On one possible point comes to mind. You don't mean... The War of the Magi. It's kind of in the title, Magitech, Magic, you know, it's obvious. No! That's impossible! My grandma used to tell me the bedtime stories about magical machines. Hard to believe those stories were true. You're saying we're on the verge of a second war of the Magi? Only a guess. War took place a thousand years ago. Every historian has a different hypothesis. But one says the energy drained from espers was used to power machines. And the ordinary humans were also infused with that same energy. So that's what Magitech power is. If we're gonna fight Magitech enemies, we need Magitech weapons for our own. That's sound. That's very sound logic there. I'll give you that. No, that would bring about another War of the Magi. Yeah, but um, if it's inevitable anyway, why not? Yeah, then what do you propose, buddy? I'm wondering if we might be able to have a chat with an Esper. Is it Esper? It's risky, but that Esper reacted to Terra before. If we get a reactor again, we might just be able to wake it up. Do you really think that would work? I can't say for sure, but I would believe it's our best shot. Great, so we're gonna have to go all the way back over to Narsh? Of course, we can't do anything without Terra. Terra? She's thinking. I'll, I'll do it. I'm not entirely sure I understand the plan, but what the hey? <laughs> Save him. Sounds like it'll be fun. Well, what was that? That noise just now. Ooh. Bannon, sir. Ooh, he's dead. South Figaro. Ooh. What's wrong? What's happened? The Empire's taking South Figaro. They're headed this way. Uh-oh. They found us. We have a moment to lose. Fuck. I know someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? It's right up your alley. We're counting on you. Terra, wait for me. I won't be gone long. I'll watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. The guy moves in like a hawk. A lock! Edgar, hold have his die hard, eh? What about us? We're gonna escape down the Leth River and make our way to Narsh. I'm curious about that Esper they found in the mines. Farewell, already the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. Well, no, you're gonna die if you don't get out of here. Not safe here. Come with us to Narsh. It could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. No time to dilly dally, let's make for Narsh. Right, prevailing hope. Oh, well. Here we go, the raft. This raft will carry us to Narsh. Hop aboard? Well, yeah, I mean, we don't really have any choice, can't go anywhere else. Head towards Narsh while protecting Bannon at all costs. If Bannon falls in battle, the journey's over. Okay. Random fights. And just keep banning from dying, huh? But, uh... Alright, and Bannon's a healer, so that's good. Yeah, meteor strike that. What? No! Well, it's dead anyway, but man, meteor strike did like no damage? Jeez. That's that's not fair. Which way should we go? Uh, I'm gonna say left. I don't know if that's the correct path, but. Uh...
see here. Well, that's that's a good, that's a good one. All right, that was gonna be some attack over 100 damage for him. Trying not to use too much of her mana. Three levels up. Nice. Even Bannon leveled. Ooh, all right. Uh, expecting another which way do we go thing, you know? Oh! Saban is uh, blind? I drop. Come on, let's get this octopus thing. Yes. Saban's about to level. Hmm. Lesser Alupros. Yeah, just keep praying there, man. Since that doesn't cost any mana, might as well, right? There we go. Nicely done, nicely done. Alright, Satan leveled up. And Bannon leveled up again. Bannon's level 10. Alright. Okay, uh... I don't think... Yeah, we didn't take too much damage, so I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to save it. I'm not going to camp out here, really. <laughs> no, back, back down the river. Hmm. Don't know which way it's going to send us, man. Wow, that was a nice hit save, and she used like claws or something. Six hundred fifty two gil. Ooh, we're gonna go up. It's up or left? No. Oh well. Almost looks like it's just us sitting us in a circle here, so. Maybe up wasn't necessarily the way to go, huh? Damn, man, you missed too much. We don't even need, I mean, that, that's 200 plus on a prayer. That's everybody's max hit points, you know? All right, there we go. Try to learn Drain, so she's well old enough to learn a new spell. Yeah. Should have chose left. Oh, well. I wonder if they made it easier to protect them in the remaster here, or if it's uh, actually no different. We'll go left this time. I like that shot. Man, Saban, you come through some nice hits sometimes, buddy. Baron leveled up again. Saban leveled up. Nice. Got us a high potion out of it. So we'll go left. It's a weird way of navigating a river. I'll tell you that. Yeah, 
getting close to another level there too. What's this? Oh, that's full health, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, let me um. You put, uh, that's, well, it's one weapon to be held in both hands. Or, yeah, I'm going to give him that. And then... Try that. Relics associated with equipment have been changed. Your equipment is set to uh, optimal. Alright. So we lost the shield, but gives us two-handed on the greatsword, so. Alright, that sucks. Uh, that's acceptable to me. Now, see you. All right, now back on the raft and on to Nursh we go. I wonder how much further it is, because I mean, technically that would be a long ride down the river or up river to get back to Narsh, but. I'm not for certain. Ooh, look at that. Terra leveled up. 13. Level 13 for Terra. Good job. What? We're Whoa, no, no, that wasn't cool. We could have all fallen into the water. Somebody possibly died there. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. So you just heal him up, Bannon. Bannon and Edgar leveled up. Jeez. Got a potion. What is this? Hey, what do we got here? Oh, what is that guy's name? I know who that is. Must be the boss fight? Ultros, yes. Ultros. I should have known Ultros, yes. <laughs> You're up the creek without a paddle. Does that make me a bad octopus? He's got a lot of puns, this guy. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that was auto crossbow right to the face. Auto uh, slurp? Slurp? What does the slurp stuff? Oh, he used a tentacle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did we use prey? No, but we're about to. Oh, man. Yowch! Seafood soup is not on the menu. Auto crossbow, come on, get that fair off. Muscle heads. Hate them. Tentacle. Ooh, tentacle slap saber. Not cool. I'll drive you, Ultras, for no damage. Yowch! Seafood soup is not on the menu. Uh, well, we don't have no more of those, so... Ouch! Man, he just slapped us all there. Three hundred sixty-six. Ooh, did we do it? Sploosh. Where'd you go, Ultras? Glub glub. I think he's gonna be one of those that come back repeatedly, like Gilgamesh, maybe. Think I got the point? I wouldn't bet on it. No. Oh, he's just hiding down there. Ew. Something's stuck on my leg. Uh oh. 
Terry, get away from there. We should be all right now. Eight armed freak. <laughs> I'm gonna smash it with a blitz. No, Sabin! Out of my way, Edgar. No, Sabin, you. Ugh. Well, he's always been a bit rash. Sabin! Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Bannon? You're his brother. You should know better than any of us. Any second now, he'll flop back up onto the right. Right as rain. Well, he did something. Wah! Uh, I think he missed the onto the raft part. <laughs> Sabin! Sabin, you're on your own now, buddy. He just got flung up there somewhere. Sabin! Oh, great. Oh, so he's actually floating down the river. Edgar and Terra race towards Narsh while protecting Bannon. But what of Sabin, who was swept away by the raging waters? And how is Lockfaring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? <laughs>